All right, so this one is, it says, which of the following could not be the sides of an isosceles triangle? So we have five answer choices here. Um, the, the way to solve this is to know, the key is to know the definition of an isosceles triangle. And, and really what it is, is it's a triangle that has at least two sides that are equal to each other. So if you think about a triangle this way, this way, so this side is equal to this side. So the third one doesn't have to be equal to these other two, but at least two sides of the triangle need to be equal to each other. So now that we have the, def the definition of an isosceles triangle, let's try to see which one of the answer. So let's say which one could not be the answer. So that means uh, four of them satisfy the, the, the definition of an isosceles triangle, one of them is not. So we say the definition of, again is a triangle, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has at least two sides that are equal to each other, that are equal to each other. So this one, two, and two, so this satisfies it. Um, let's come back to this. This one, 12 and 12, this satisfies it. That's good. Um, and this one, Five, five, five. Let's go back to this. Let's come back to this again. And this one, ten and ten. This satisfies it. This, those, these two come straight out of the definition. Straight out of, out of the definition. These three, they come straight out of the definition. At least two sides. This side and this side satisfy. That means we get ten and ten here, and two and two here, two and two here, and then twelve and twelve here. So, but let's go on D and 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 B and D. B, um, D. Let's see. D. Oh, uh, let's go with B. B. We already know it's it's the it's doesn't have two sides that are satisfied. Two, three, and four. Those are not. There's no sides here that are equal to each other. So that means the answer is the answer choice that we're looking for is interest choice B. Now, here is the reason why this is the answer. This is this also satisfied um, the definition of an isosceles triangle. We got two sides here that are equal to five. So, so we got here. This one is five. This one is five. Um, we know this is the third one is also five, which makes it an equilateral triangle. That's that's not a problem because the isosceles triangle needs to have at least two sides that are equal to each other. So even though if it's three two, it's still an isosceles triangle. An equilateral triangle is still an isosceles triangle, but an isosceles triangle is not an equilateral triangle. So the way to think about it is just. We need two sides at least to be equal to each other, but if we have three, that's fine as well. So that one is 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 also an isosceles triangle. It's an equilateral triangle, which is three, but it's also an isosceles. So the answer choice that we're looking for is this one, which is B. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please share on your page, and you'll help a lot of kids taking uh, any math classes, to be honest with you. All right, thank you. Bye.